Luther King Jr. Day is coming up next week. Milwaukee will celebrate with the 34th annual MLK Jr. Birthday Celebration. And I'm joined now by Paul Matthews, the president and CEO of the Marcus Center with a preview. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. So Thank this you. this is so interesting to, me, interesting to me. Only two cities have celebrated Dr. King's birthday annually since 1984, Atlanta and Milwaukee. So this is a big celebration here in our area. What can we expect? Well, it's a big celebration, and I think it, it's continued for 34 years here because Dr. King was here. There's a special uh, relationship with him in Milwaukee, and also the fact that this has really been focused on uh, participation by students in contests. This is really focused on youth. So what we can expect is uh, the winners of uh, contests for writing, speech, and art. And we've had over 3,000 students participate. And uh, it, this is really an opportunity for them to learn about Dr. King and then live his legacy through, through the work that they do in these contests and the preparation and what they do with their lives afterwards. And it's got to be something special to hear them interpret, you know, what he stood for and the kind of icon that he, that he is. That's correct. Uh, it's take a stand for uh, truth and justice this year is the theme. Mm -hmm. Every year it's a different theme based on uh, some of his writings. And, and these, these young people do speak the truth, mm. and they do take a stand, and uh, especially the people who give speeches, the young people who give speeches. Those of us who you know, do speaking and, and media for a living are kind of put to shame when we watch them up there <laughs> because they really are dynamite. They're really something, and they're our future leaders. Very true. Uh, what do you think people can take away from it? I think they can take away from it certainly more about learning about Dr. King's legacy and how they can live it but also take away from it uh, the, um, the hope that these young people express and that these really are the future leaders of our community and people can walk away with a real sense of hope and pride in these young people. And feeling inspired. And inspired, that's correct, yes. no doubt about it. Thank you for joining us this morning. This will be Sunday, January 14th at 1 p.m. here in Milwaukee. We'll have all the details on our website, wisn.com.